When I returned to RC Flying after a 25-year layoff, the radios amazed me. Since I got the DX8, I've been amazed way more. Even better is that it has a lot of features that we actually use. Spectrum put all the switches where they're easy to get at, and they give you a bunch of ways to program each one of the switches. And you can combine some functions on one switch. I love the three position dual rates, but I didn't like having three positions on three different switches. The DX8 let me put the elevator, aileron, and rudder dual rates all on the rudder switch where it's easy to get at. And to do all of that programming, we use one screen that allows us to alternate between the control services and all three positions on the switch. I love the feel of the gimbals. I think there's just enough spring tension, and the ends are nice and grippy. They don't feel like they're sliding at all while you're flying. And if you don't like the way it's set up when you get it, you can adjust all that also. You can store setups for up to 30 models on this radio and just choose between them. When you select a model that you already have programmed into the radio, it brings up everything, including the trims that you used. When you set up a new model, the first thing you do is choose whether it's a helicopter or an airplane. When you make that selection, the radio automatically configures itself for that basic type of aircraft. Something that I continue to find really handy is being able to choose what kind of wing you have on there. The type of wing is more specifically about the ailerons, how many servos you have, and whether you have flaps. And you can easily do specialty programming like creating elevons. All of my planes have two ailerons and two servos. And when I select that setup, I can adjust the center point and trim on each of the aileron servos individually. That's a huge help for setting an airplane up. I know people are going to talk about how easy it is to read that LCD screen outside in the sun. Keep in mind that all these pictures were shot under these photographic lights that are about as bright as the sun and concentrated. The DX8 also gets into a level that starts using telemetry. I've never tried any of this myself, but a lot of the pilots I know are using this and are very happy with it. This is a good way of keeping track of what's going on in the airplane while you're flying it. The only problem I've had with the DX8 is that the SD card reader is very finicky about the cards. They give you an SD card with the radio. That one didn't work. I had another one in the office. That one didn't work. And I got a third one, and that one works perfectly. It seems that everybody knows about this, so maybe Spectrum has fixed it with the newer radios they're manufacturing now. A smaller problem of my own making is that I just fly too much, and the original 2000 milliamp pack wasn't cutting it. But Spectrum knows about people like me, and he offered this 4000 milliamp pack, and that lasts all day. And plus it charges with the same charger that it comes with the radio. I do a good bit of teaching people to fly, and I've come to love the trainer systems on these radios. On a DX8, I just hold this button when I want them to fly, and I can release it when I have to save the plane. With the DX8, I can control how many of the functions a student gets when I push this button. And that's very cool. So if you're looking to add another transmitter to your hangar, you need to take a look at the Spectrum DX8. This is a great radio, it's got great features, and it's easy to use.